No, Debbie has asked me to babysit her child this evening. Yeah, and I'm going to help. Debbie asked you to babysit. Yeah, well, I am the godfather, Julia. And she was named after me. Oh, what a pretty name. Colm. <laughs> Colleen. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Why was not I not consulted about this babysitting business? What? Well, this is my house too. I have feelings. I may not like having a baby here. Guzzling and crying and vomiting all night. I may not like that. Hmm? We thought you were going to that curriculum meeting at the tech. Oh, yes. Well, I decided I don't want to go to that. Not after I read those things that were written about me in the toilet. <laughs> Julie, they're just kids. They, they don't mean that stuff. Mm. Uh, it was the staff toilets, Mum. <laughs> I don't mind the students, you know. Some of them are almost human. Oh, in the Pittswood Tech. Fancy. It's the teachers I can't stand, Michael. They're so stuck in their ways. Why don't they realise that times change? Well, so you go there tonight and tell them that. Someone's got to show a bit of responsibility, set an example. Yes, I'll go. Better than putting up with babies. Come on, Joy, or even you were a baby once. True. Apparently I was very nice, and I hardly ever troubled anyone. Why, how times change. <laughs> Be careful, Colin. So where's the baby? David forgot it. <laughs> what? He forgot the baby? <laughs> I have never, ever met anyone as vacant as you, have you? Oh, he's an idiot. <laughs> David's got the IQ of a chair. Hello, Julia. <coughs> Colin, here she is. Guard her with your life. Of course I will. Hello. Look. Stuff yet? Yep. Well, where is it? The dye must have evaporated. <laughs> you drank it! Oh, I didn't! Y yes, you did. You got a little milk moustache. Yeah, all right, I did. <laughs> it's okay, I can make up some more. Do you want some? No, thank you. Tastes really nice. No, Colin. All right, why not? Well, because, Colin, that stuff's meant to taste like breast milk. <laughs> Lactose, uh, skim powdered milk, wickerthin, coconuts. How do they fit the coconuts in? What? In the tin. Colin, look, just mix up some more stuff because Co Colleen's going to wake up any minute. Oh, I, I'm under control here, Michael. <laughs> Okay, now we add some water and we add two spoonful. <laughs> I feel like Peter Russell Clark. <laughs> G'day! <laughs> Today we're gonna make breast milk. <laughs> <laughs> Measure it properly. Under control. Now, if the baby weighs 10 kilos, then you add two spoonfuls per 120 ml. So, um, how much does the baby weigh? Well, how would I know? There's only one way to find out. Uh, Look who's mo Nah, as you say, you see, the baby won't stay on the scales. <laughs> There's got to be a proper way of finding out how much a baby weighs. I have just had an amazing idea. Why don't I weigh myself? Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Let me finish, Michael. I weigh myself, and then I weigh myself with the baby, and then we take the amount that I weigh... And subtract it from the second amount. Colin, that's brilliant. Yes, I know. <laughs> it's called using the old grey matter. So give us a hand up on the scales with it. Now, Colin, why don't we 
me put the scales on the floor and then stand on them. Yes, well, you could do it that way, I suppose, if you want to. It's called using the old grey matter. Yes? <laughs> All right, Colin, how much do you weigh? Uh, Michael, that's a rather personal sort of a question, isn't it? <laughs> well, I don't think I am at liberty to divulge my weight. I shall do the equation in a in a mental sort of a way. <laughs> so pass me the baby. Come go. on, come. Yes. Yes, so uh, that's 6 to 30 plus 15. She's 90 plus. All right, Colin, how much does the baby weigh? 60 kilos. <laughs> I weigh 60 kilos. Isn't that a coincidence? All right, all right. Give me what? the baby. I'll, I'll do it. Give me the baby. Come on, Colleen. Now, we know that I weigh 60 kilos, so the combined weight of myself and the baby is? 60 kilos uh, minus 60 kilos is naught. So the baby weighs naught. <laughs> Maybe we should feed it right now. The scales must be out. Well... Hello? Uh, Colin Carpenter. Hey. Okay. Uh, this is David. I just thought I'd ring to check up. God, no, David. Hi. Um, look, there's a little bit of a problem. What is it? The baby doesn't weigh anything. <laughs> doesn't weigh anything? No, ah, have you seen a doctor about that or...? <laughs> Colin, she weighs five and a half kilos. Yeah, I know. I was only kidding. Everything is all right. Absolutely. Everything is absolutely fine. Well, if there are any problems, you just give me a ring, OK? Yeah, OK. Oh, have you got your telephone number there? Yeah, I have my telephone number here. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hopeless! I can't make the baby stop crying. Go, come, come, come on. Come on. There, 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 there. Maybe there. you have to, um, you know, bring up the wind. <laughs> That's <good. laughs> There was something in here. <laughs> what? You know, one of those, those, those things. Well, what happened to it? I don't know, I must have dropped out. Oh, <laughs> No, look, leave it, Michael. Just leave it, Michael. You know how it is. You, you, you lose something, you forget about it for a few weeks, and then when you least expect it, <laughs> voila, there it is. Well, what happens if Julia comes home and steps in it? It's only a safety pin, Michael. <laughs> oh. <I t> oh. <laughs> She needs changing, Colin. But I've only just done it. Well, she needs changing again. Go oh, right, well, or... We'll toss to see who changes her. You do it. <laughs> I've never done it before. Don't worry, Michael. I will teach you. <laughs> Take out the safety pins. Carefully. Swab. She does it. Mm. <laughs> Looks like your little casserole, Michael. <laughs> All right, now clean her up. Wet one. Wet one. There you go. You missed a bit. That's a freckle. Ah. <laughs> All right, now place the nappy underneath her bottom. Nappy. Nappy. Pull one end of the triangle up between her legs. There you go. Ah. Now pull the other two ends around. Very carefully. Pin it. <laughs> I did it. Uh, I feel like a new man. Yeah, I wouldn't say that too loudly if I were you. I actually did it. <laughs> So, so did she. Again. <laughs> Your turn, Paul. I can't 
can't believe it. Every time we change a nappy, she fills it up with... Lentil casserole, yes. <laughs> she, she can't help it, can you? I'm beginning to wish these nappies were disposable. Mmm, ah, Michael, I thought you said that disposable nappies were bad for the environment. Yeah, well, that pile of crappy nappies is pretty bad for the environment too, Connor. I have just had an amazing idea. Amazing idea number two, Michael. You know how when you were young and you used to wet the bed all the time, your mum had to put plastic sheets on the bed? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Colin, I never had that problem. No, no, neither did I. Now, what she needs is plastic nappies. Yeah, well, Colin, where are we going to get plastic nappies from? We could get Julia a shower cap. Cut two holes in the legs. Colin, what is Julia going to use for a shower cap? <laughs> Could have used a clean one. <laughs> yes. Time for sleepies now. Come on. Come on, darling. Time for sleepies. Uncle Con will sing you a little song to put you off to sleep. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. King gang, gully, 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 watch your king gang, goo, king gang, goo. Colin, 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 no. sing a pretty lullaby. You're so pretty, oh, so pretty, baby, can't, but we don't care. Colin, Colin. <laughs> see it's changing again. No, no, that, that is a different sort of cry, Michael, that is a cry of hunger. So go and go off and get the formula. No. What do you mean? No. We run out. Run out? Well, you shouldn't have drunk it, should you? <laughs> well, yeah, well, I'll go down to the chemist and I'll get some more. So keep an eye on Colleen. Right. Yes, Uncle Michael's going to keep his eye on you. Yes, he is. Yes. 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 All right. Thank you, Colin. Kumbaya. <laughs> Kumbaya. She's well, gone. I've got a couple of tins of formula here, just in case we run out. And look what else I got, little Colleen. It's a little puppy. Yep. <laughs> uh, Michael? Yep. But where's, where's the baby? I don't know, Colin. What? Well, you, well, you see, I went outside j just for a moment, right? And when I came back in, she, she was gone. Oh, no. I mean, you see, I heard this noise, right? I was looking after the baby, I heard this sort of growling noise, like, no. I mean, I didn't know what it was. It could have been anything. No. You know? And, like, you weren't here to look after the baby, so I thought, this no. like, baby's going to be all right by herself, right? So no. I sat in the back, just near the clothesline, uh -huh. and there was these two yellow eyes just staring well, at what me. What was it? A possum. A, po a possum? You don't reckon a possum took the baby, do you? <laughs> well, it's happened 
a bomb. No, like... I talk with a possum. Well, where is she? I don't know. Well, well, maybe she ran away. Now, how could she do that, Colin? Yeah, you're right. She, she was happy here, laughing, smiling. <laughs> well, answer the phone. Don't get angry at me, Michael. Hello? Hello, Colin Carpenter. Yeah? It's David here. How are things? Oh, fine. <laughs> Is uh, Colleen behaving herself? Oh, yeah, she's behaving as if she wasn't here. <laughs> yeah, Colin, I want to apologise for what I said before, you know, about, you know, doubting your abilities as a babysitter. Yeah, that's OK. No, 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 it was unfair of me. Because I now know that she's in, she's in good hands. Yep. <laughs> well, so long, Colleen. Bye! <laughs> Hi, police. My name's Colin Carpenter, and I'd like to... Re I paid that fine. <laughs> well, I want to report a missing person. Yeah. Ah, uh, blue, blue eyes, the dark, dark hair. Height, uh, oh, about 18 inches. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? Oh, it's no good. Why let me know police don't want to know about it? Doorbell. She's back. She's back! <laughs> Come on, how can a baby ring a doorbell? It's, it's probably David. Well, what are we going to tell him? Well, we're just going to have to tell him the truth. That... You lost the baby. No, Colin. How do you, how do you think he's going to react to that? Oh, that was very careless of you. Have you tried looking down the back of the couch? <laughs> what do you do that for? I don't know. They do it in films when people <laughs> get, his, get historical. Have you seen the size of David? But he's not that big. Well, he's bigger than I am. Yeah, but everyone's bigger than you are. <laughs> well, I guess I'm just going to have to go and answer it. Go, oh, I'll, I'll make one more look for the baby. A nice suit you got there. Yeah, it's McEwen's garden. Colin, look who's here, David. Ah, so it is. <laughs> of course I did. But ah, she's asleep, so don't come too close. <laughs> Joe, how was, how was your night? Oh, it was my mother's funeral, like. And, or did, did, did she die, or? <laughs> yes, yes. That's, that's great. Yeah, it came as... Quite a shock losing someone so dear to me. Oh, you're, you're getting used to it. So, how's Colleen? Oh, she's been behaving really, really well. And I knew I could depend on you guys. Yeah, so come back and pick her up later on. No, no, Colleen. I think David would probably like to take the baby with him. Look, now. she's smiling. Uh, <laughs> you know, why don't, why, don't, um, why, don't you, why don't we bring the baby around to you later when, when you're feeling a bit, a bit better? Well, if you don't mind, thank you, but I'd like to take her now. D well, that might not be easy. Why? Well, well, well you see, the, 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 thing, the thing is, but Colin has something to say to you. Uh, when, when we... Here she is, look at her. Happy as a little beaver, aren't you? <laughs> but I thought that... <laughs> Have you been kidnapped, Julian? Why'd you just come in and take her like that? Because, Michael, when I came home, I found poor little Colleen all on her own, crying. No sign of a babysitter anywhere. So I took her through to Elsie. Very good, Julia. Well, I thought you didn't like babies, Julia. No, I never said that. Yes, you did. You said all I do all day is just eat, chuck and make a mess. Well, so do you, Colin, but I don't hate you. <laughs> I just think it was very irresponsible of you, Julia. Do you? Ah, irresponsible? Yeah, just, just walking in and taking the baby like that. Oh, what about you, Michael? Don't you think it was irresponsible of you to leave her here on her own in the first place? Yeah, I suppose. Good. Yes, that was really very bad of you, Michael. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Chastise others, but don't you think you were partly to blame? Why? Because Debbie asked you to babysit, not Michael. Yeah, 
Yeah, I suppose you're right. Good. Of course I am. Yes, I think that that you have taught Michael and I a very valuable lesson this evening, Julia, and for that I thank you. Thank you, Colin. I'm a teacher, aren't I? A responsible teacher. And uh, I've made you a nice warm drink to have before you go to bed. Oh, <laughs> isn't that a nice thought? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm. That's lovely, Michael. Mm. That's delicious. What mm. is it? It's um, breast milk. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.